Hey guys, it's Laura from Doggy U, and today we're gonna take a little departure from dog stuff and talk about my 50th state that I went to, which was Hawaii, and we were in Maui. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about this vacation, how awesome it was, and why it was a bucket list trip that I never had on my bucket list because we had such a great time. So we stayed in this um, beautiful like condo that we rented on Airbnb right on the water. Um, I will say that this was not a cheap trip. It was super expensive and also I'm really glad we did it anyway. Um, we were right on the water where you could literally see whales from our room, but that's not where we were the first night. The first night we stayed in a hostel where uh, we met a guy named Joe who told us we needed to go to Little Beach to go to a drum circle. And as it turns out, Little Beach is actually a nude beach. So no pictures of that beach, but a super fun time at the drum circle, just hanging out um, and listening to the music. Next, we went up the Haleakala National Park, which was very cold and windy, but a really, really cool national park where you're literally above the clouds. There's also a lot of hiking up there and we saw a lot of people biking down the really twisty, windy road, which looked a little dangerous with all the cars for my taste. We also did this really cool lava rocks hike. And to be honest, hiking on lava rocks uh, sounds really cool, but it's also relatively painful and annoying because you have to look down at every step. But we got these amazing views of the ocean and it all culminated on this little beach that we went to uh, I think it was about three miles or four miles around trip or so, where they built up all this coral onto the beach and created these little houses. There was even a, a little chair in one of them where someone had been relaxing. So that was kind of a, a fun hike to do and it was dog friendly. Another fun land activity that we did was riding horses near the ocean and up this mountain where I guess Jurassic Park was filmed, which was kind of cool. During the ride, it was about two hours or so, they also gave us passion fruit to eat, which is my first time eating a passion fruit and it's like a gusher, it's so good. And then the horses finished off the rides. But this was a really fun experience and I was happy to be back on a horse for sure. Now moving on to all the water stuff and the whales and all that good stuff. So we did snorkeling, which is, I was really afraid of, but it turns out is super fun. I'm actually not an ocean person. I'm a little nervous about waves and all that stuff. This was a big trip for me, um, but we got to go uh, snorkeling and you got to see so many cool things. Lots of these giant fish and sea turtles. So we had seen sea turtles from the rocks from our condo, but then we got to actually swim with the sea turtles and that was just a really neat experience. They're so graceful underwater and so beautiful. Putting on a snorkel and mask, you kind of get this amazing view into this whole underworld of the water that you I have never seen before. We also went and watched the turtles on the beach at night, had a little drink, uh, and hung out with the people that protect the turtles from visitors. And then came the really highlight part of our trip. We rented this uh, two-person ocean kayak and we went out on a couple different paddles and we were delighted to be in the presence of these beautiful humpback whales. They swam under us and all around us, and it was really fantastic to be able to see them. We also had a visit from a bunch of dolphins um, who swam all around us and seemed rather curious about what we were doing, swam at us, swam all in circles around us. It was quite a bit of fun, and they even joined in with the whales and were swimming around us with the whales, and I've never really seen dolphins up close in the wild, so this was kind of a fun experience for me. My sister shot a lot of this video on her paddleboard and she was even able to briefly capture them underwater with her iPhone, which was pretty neat to see how close they were to each other and swimming together. So this next part of this video is just the truly magical part of this trip, which was when we started hearing the whales underwater and the, the songs they were singing. And we could hear them clicking off of our boats, I think, trying to navigate. So I'm just gonna let you listen a little bit to this like beautiful sounds of these whales. That was really the highlight for me.
you, but that was one of the coolest things I'd ever heard. Um, so then my brother-in-law took out his drone, Chris Lyons, and started, we found a, a little pot of whales, and we started droning, and I just can't even believe the amazing footage he got of these whales flapping around, doing twists, and you'll notice even um, coming up right in the top right-hand corner, he actually got some drone footage of a whale breaching. Look at that. Just incredible. And they just played and flapped and did their whole little dance around in the water for a good portion of time. I'm not going to pretend to know anything about whale behavior, so if you know why they're doing these beautiful performances, please comment below so I can learn. So I'm just going to leave you with a little bit of this whale frolicking and this, this beautiful footage that he captured. It was truly magical to witness in person and I highly recommend you adding this trip to your bucket list. So I'll just end with letting you know that if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I mostly made this video for myself and for my family so that I could remember this wonderful trip, but I thought others might be interested in adding this trip to one of the, their must-dos. So to end it off, here is a whale flapping goodbye with its tail. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to discuss the trip. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Happy travels, y'all. Uh, this is the best purple sweet potato ice cream in the world, and this is a rooster, which is the bane of our existence in Maui. And if you know what I mean, comment below.